Hi, I'm Erin Villaverde with the California PBIS Coalition. In this video, I'm going to overview Criteria 5 from the California PBIS Coalition Recognition System. Identify current advanced tier interventions. Criteria 5 is only required if your school is applying for gold or platinum recognition. For this item, a school must report details on their advanced tier interventions. Please read the criteria at a glance document for further details. To complete this item, you will need to identify one to two advanced tier interventions, define how progress is monitored for these interventions, including which data are used to track progress, report the number of students that have participated in this intervention, and finally, verify that at least 70% of participating students have responded positively to the identified intervention. Note that for gold level applications, you may select either one tier two or one tier three intervention to report this information. For platinum applications, you will need to report this information on both a tier two and a tier three intervention. With respect to distance learning adaptations, applicants may report intervention data on interventions that have been modified for distance learning and may report data on tiered re-engagement strategies for students who are missing in person or distance learning opportunities. As a reminder, the CPC recommends that all applying schools review the criteria at a glance and the criteria videos and complete the recognition worksheet before applying for recognition. Many schools also find the Frequently Asked Questions document helpful. These tools can be found at the CPC website, www.pbisca.org. Please note these important recognition dates. We look forward to reviewing your application. Thank you for your dedication to schools and families in California.